Hello everybody, we are back here on the Hunter Call of the Wild. I slept in a little bit, so I had to go back and get all the footage from this, and, well, that's why I probably still sound like I'm sick, even though I am fully better now and my voice is back to normal. But, uh, considering I just woke up, a little bit of, uh, raspiness going on there. But, it is what it is. Gotta do what you gotta do. We got some new rifles in the Hunter Call of the Wild that they have revealed today, and it's pretty incredible. They ended up revealing the 338 bolt action as well as the 7mm bolt action. And you will be seeing footage from both of those in the background. Um, I kind of just got to throw together what I can at this point since I was a bit late to get to everything. And I still want to get this video out on time. But the uh, green rifle with the more bulky iron sights, that is the 338. Uh, the more clean iron sights and the three round internal magazine, that is going to be the 7mm. It's crazy to see that they've actually done what a lot of people have requested in the past. A lot of us have been asking for a 7mm bolt action as well as a 338 bolt action. And so it's really cool to see them get added. And since this has been one of the most asked questions throughout the last couple of weeks, I am going to go ahead and get it out of the way. They are releasing this DLC March 14th, so we are finally getting a release date, and it looks like it's going to be a pretty massive update, because Jaxie Beard did actually talk a little bit about how this is not actually going to be the game changer in the update. The 338 bolt action and the 7mm bolt action are both really incredible additions, but apparently they're still not the biggest change coming with this update. Also, to confirm something that I wasn't really sure about last week, yes, we are getting skins with the weapon pack, so they're going to do it a little bit different. Instead of having different variations of each of the rifles, um, the weapon pack is going to come with skins, so that's actually kind of cool. Curious uh, how many skins it's going to come with, but they did confirm it will come with skins. But what do I think about these two guns coming to the Hunter Call of the Wild? Well, one of the things that I want to say, first of all, is the 7 mil is one of the most versatile calibers in the game. And a lot of us have really been wanting them to add a better variation of it, as currently we just have the single shot. And let's be honest, a single shot rifle in most situations is just not good enough. On them and firing them through the testing stage, uh, I can just envision how this is going to change the hunts. The 7mm... Let's face it, it is the one rifle in game where you could just take multiple animals. You, you can take whitetail and you can take bison. There's quite a few situations where you may shoot a deer or something else and you want to be able to get a quick follow-up shot, but the 7 mil just did not give you the option to do so. But now with this brand new 7 millimeter bolt action having a three round internal magazine, we will be able to take up to three shots before having to reload again. That is going to be a game changer alone. And I'm really interested to see how this is going to affect stuff like Great One Grinds. Are people going to be using the 7 mil more for that? Or will they still stick with the five round semi-automatic 308 AR? So overall, I would say the 7 mil bolt action is probably going to be pretty widely well received. I know I'm going to use it quite a bit. It's for sure going to be my go-to multiplayer hunting uh, rifle. And it's just really cool to see them adding some guns that will make our loadouts a little bit more versatile in many different ways. Oh, I'm a little off to the right. Okay, so now we can see that change. Once again, love the weapon testing. Love getting out and actually just the difference when you're on your knee, right? And now as far as the uh, 338 goes, I mean, do I even need to say it? This, this is going to be an absolutely devastating rifle being added to the game. We know the 338 is a really strong rifle. And to be honest, the only reason people don't use it is because we only had a single shot variation. But now we've got a five round magazine in this brand new 338, which is honestly going to just kind of blow any other rifle in that class range just out of the water. The 300 Magnum will no longer be the king. However, I did notice it seems... It seems like the 338 might chamber rounds a little bit slower than the 300 Magnum, so maybe that's where they're going to balance it out. There's also quite a bit of recoil from what we saw and what you guys are seeing right now. And uh, it does seem like the reload animation does take a bit of time. 
However, I assume part of that is just a discrepancy in perks being used. Because I don't believe they I don't believe Jaxie Beard uses the uh faster reloading perk called Lightning Hands. However, I do. So it could just be a difference in that, but we will see once it fully releases. Oh, and of course, uh, Jaxie Beard decided to uh, uh, take down a few great ones since he was on a development build and uh, just show us how they do on the great one moose. So, I mean, let's just show that then. Oh, I'm shaky. <laughs> oh, oh, look, another great one. <laughs> what am I, an iBuys map? Uh, let's go and see what sort of penetration we had on that with the 338. Overall, I think this is going to be one of the best weapon packs ever released in the Hunter Call of the Wild. This and the Modern Rifles pack are two of the better ones that they have released. And I mean, even the handgun pack wasn't too bad because of that 243 single shot. So it's nice to see if the last three DLCs for uh, weapon packs have actually been really solid. But this one honestly seems to be the best of the three. But anyway, guys, that is going to be it for this video. Be sure to stay tuned for next week because apparently they are going to show off the biggest part of this update. And it's crazy to think this weapon pack is not the biggest part of the update. So I'm really interested in seeing what they show off. But until then, thank you guys so much for watching. If you're brand new to this channel and you find uh, value in the time that I put into this channel and creating all this content, uh, be sure to subscribe as well as leaving a comment down below and uh, I will see you all in the next one. Peace.